Hey, you're back. Thanks for... I mean, I assume you're back. You were separated from your ODSD squad. Contact City Superintendent for assistance. Kinzo's a thug. Um, anyway, I assume you're back. It very well could just be that you actually clicked on this video and didn't watch the first one. Which is valid, too. No access. No hay salida. So, as the, uh, my helmet, I guess. Oh, God, that's so beautiful. Helpfully reminded me, I've been cut off from my squad. I don't know where the fuck they are. And I'm going to go talk to the superintendent, which is the super AI that runs that city. Up arrow or down arrow? Oh, wow. See, I can just go here. Superintendent online. Authorization dare. Password Virgil. Downloading city map. So you can see why this game is kind of weird. We've got a map here. That data will help you find your ODST squad. Green arrow is you. And move the map with this. Yep, up, up. So my favorite Half-Life game is actually... I'll wheel up to zoom map. My favorite Half-Life game is, arguably, um, no point, note the waypoint in your compass, press R to cycle the waypoint selection. Okay. Um, one of my favorite Half-Life games is actually Opposing Force. Oops, it's this button. New nav data. Oh, that's super weird. Tayeri Plaza is the last known location of a squad mate. Note the beacon in your compass, this thing. Proceed the beacon and continue to start the search. QRE to check intel. That's me, six hours after the drop. So I, w I took a little nap. Objective complete. So yeah, it's weird. Looks like this thing. They find comms out in the city. All audio and visual data will be stored here. Okay. So. I feel like I've seen that before. Um, in Half-Life Opposing Force, you play as a miscellaneous marine. After, you know, the troubles. Glass this. They're gonna, by the way. They literally glass the planet in Halo 3. Spoilers for a 15-year-old game? Um, but I, I like the idea of just backing out and, like, this is someone who has military training and knows how to fight. But they don't know fucking anything about anything else that's going on. And that's what ODST feels like. Webos. Your mom loves them. I just got an achievement for looking for, at looking for that. Come on, bring the next one to me. This soundtrack is so... It's its literally like sucking my brain out. Like, it's taking me to another place here. I'm, I'm getting ASMR'd right now. My scalp is tingling.
Okay. Maybe I'll find all the, uh, all the little extras. There's a, I want to say it's like 49 or something, um, little things hidden around the map. Oh, well, perfect. Just what I needed. You reach the nav beacon. Search building for a clue to the squad mate's location. Use advisor to conduct a detailed search. So, some marines fucking died here. And some other guys died here as well. Kooky. A lot of luminescent blood, as you can see, as well. God, I feel like I'm playing Cry of Fear again. Oh, man, this game is so good, y'all. This game is underrated, I would say. There are some games that are really just fucking underrated, and I'm like, guys, look at these games again. Look at them in a perspective not like you would another game. And, like, underrated games always have expectations on them. Like, the most underrated game of all time... Jackals! Fucking hate these guys. Ooh, beam rifle, though. Ooh, carbines, though. I haven't seen these in a while. Love these things. Yeah, the reason, about, the thing about underrated games is that the issue with them is that you go in with expectations. Like, everyone, the most underrated game of all time is Zone of the Enders 2, the second runner. And the reason is because everyone either had expectations from the first game, which is okay, or expectations from Metal Gear Solid, because Zone of the Enders is made by Hideo Kojima-san. Oop, it's beeping. There it is. So it's a big, important recon helmet, and you can see it certainly is in here. But I'm going to continue exploring while I make my peace. Uh, wow, they were having breakfast and everything. Or um, Resident Evil Revelations 2 is an excellent game, but people went in being like, oh, it's going to be like RE6 or RE5 again, where I'm just shooting a bunch of guys, and it's really not. What now? And people went into this game being like, oh, it's going to be Halo more Halo 3, right? And it's really not. This doesn't even count as DLC, so it's a recon helmet. I like that it's right in... Well, it's called the superintendent, but I like to call him Virgil. It's right in the eye of it. And it's trying to get your attention by flashing attention on the screen. So this is another weird thing. Can you tell us her name, Gunny? Ms. Naval Intelligence. Our new boss. By combining... So check your mouth. Find your This, like, the, the open world stuff. Whenever you find stuff, it's like, hey... Here's how this got here. Buck. Tayari Plaza. Immediately after drop. So we woke up six hours after drop, if you recall. So this is what happened to Buck. Right in. Lumumba. 0624. I assume that's the street and the top. Or alternatively, Mombasa has a different name in whatever language is spoken here. Swahili, maybe? Squad, what's your status? Are you still with me, Buck? Yeah. Give me a sec. I hit my heart. My heart won't open. How about yours? <laughs> Ah, works great. <laughs> right. When you get done tuning around, I could use some help. Did I do something wrong? Because the only thing I regret about you and me not knowing you were a spook when we first met. That spook is in the slang for an intelligence officer. Like calling someone in the CIA, in the CIA a spook. Not the, uh, not the racial slur. That was that years ago, Veronica. I'm a little fuzzy on the uh, details. Must have met a lot of other saps since then. Why pick me for the safari? 
first, you're the best soldier I know, and second, you still don't remember that night? What you asked me in the should, morning? Should have turned the sound back up for the cutscene. I remember not getting an answer. Say again, Buck. You're breaking up. I said stay put. I'm on my way. We missed our LP. This grid is packed with Covenant. Be careful. Turning it back down. I appreciate the concern. So yeah, I'm playing as Buck now. Let's fucking go, shall we? So, there was already a fucking war here. Like a for real fucking battle. Like they got the sandbags piled up. There's fucking blast stains everywhere. Craters and shit. God, that's so bright. Okay, so one of the real world problems with is this toilet paper? Oh, it's a med pack. Quarantine's getting to me. So one of the real world problems with night vision is that bright lights will blind you. And because of Halo's weird fascination with making things like as realistic as they can, but also setting it in the future where technology should be irrelevant, night vision is only a little better than it was at the time. Like I could go to Walmart and buy a better shotgun than the one in Halo. And like that makes sense for competitive balance. But also, what the fuck? A lot of dudes. Many men. So yeah, we're just playing as Buck now. There's no real explanation as to how the rookie does this. Bip. I assume that it's uh, actually more of a case of just narrative shenanigans, you know, storytelling and all that, but I like to think that uh, the rookie has psychometry, or psychometry if you prefer. You know, the ability to see the past by touching an object associated with it. Because fuck, why not have magic? Destiny has magic. Oop, excuse me, sir. And granted, it's not magic magic, it's just, you know, branch of science and shit, but... Really, that's what all magic is? Or at least should be, just well understood science. Oh man, this game is so fucking beautiful. So normally, um, the Halo soundtracks are done by a man named Martin O'Donnell, I believe. Uh, also known as Marty, who is an amazing composer, combining like the themes of Valhalla and like Norse combat, because you know this armor is called the Mjolnir armor. Well, not this armor, but Spartan armor is called Mjolnir armor. Hey, there's guys. I saw your pod hit. You're one lucky SOB. See any more come down? Ah, negative. But I didn't see much of anything after that flash. Uh, but listen, some of these buildings are open. Very, you be able very to get beat inside. up. Flank the Covenant on the streets. Roger that. Thanks. Uh, I love the camaraderie. Because a lot of people are just kind of fucking dicks to Master Chief. And it's something that the ODSTs don't get as much of, which is good. I like that. Anyway, um, yeah, Martin O'Donnell like combines like Irish folk song and like drums and guitar into this, like into one of the best and most recognizable soundtracks in uh, video games, like all of them. Thank you, sir. Oh, excuse me. Oh god, that was a... I think that was a firebomb grenade that hit me. Oh god, he even says funny things whenever he's shooting. I mean, allegedly funny things. I make no claims to their humor. Oh 
Oh yeah, I love this. For whatever reason, the plasma rifle is red in this game. Presumably because the space orcs make, you know, believe that it goes faster on account of it being red. Oh god. Uh, excuse me, sir. Alright. Let's go. Got off topic there. Martin O'Donnell, amazing soundtrack. This amazing warrior song soundtrack. And a different guy composes this game. And you might think that that would inspire riots, and uh, it did. Hey, we won't last oh. Like that. It's a dead elite. It's a, bon it's a couple of dead elites. Wow, yeah. See, the implication here is that there was some enemy infighting going on. But yeah, you can hear that the soundtrack is more, like, jazzy or noir in some cases, and, like, that really fits for the, the mournful, lonesome wandering of just some guy walking around a city by himself fighting aliens. As opposed to, like, yeah, we're a bunch of fucking Chad, like, super soldiers. We're gonna shoot a whole bunch of people. Peter Molyneux? There's a duct tape on the floor there. Yeah, sorry, I'm just getting, like, really stuck in. Like, I'm, I'm being immersed, excuse me. See, the reason that the only elites you find in this game are corpses is because uh, this takes place after that shenanigans in Halo 2 when uh, people are like, or elites, rather, are like, eh, what if we didn't, like, sign in on your, like, you know, jihad thing. And, uh... You know, nothing against jihad, but the elites are like... Yours involves genocide. We're not we're not down with that specifically. We're cool with the war part of it. And, you know, that's why the Arbiter... Starts to work as, uh... You know, the Luigi to, uh... Chiefs Mario. Oh, boy. Get off that thing, will ya? Fine. Problem solving time. Great throw, dude. You almost made it halfway to me. I love the grunts. I almost don't want to shit talk them because I, I think they're too cute. I can hear an elite or a brute over there, rather. Oh, there he is. Oop, dangerous to be next to him. Excuse me, sir. Okay. But yeah, the fact that this game could be mournful and quiet. And like, look at this. Look at this. I really feel like I'm in a fucking city. So, one thing I, I was going to bring up earlier is that, uh, this is a game set in Africa. There's, like, almost no black characters on the cast. Or elites. Um. And I was gonna be like, huh, weird. Don't know about that, chief. Veronica, what's with all the dead elites? <laughs> Looks like a family feud, like they were killed by brutes. Is there something I should know? Ah, some things never change. Yada yada, so, as you know. Of course, we know the answer, and the audience would too, even playing this at the time. Believe. But yeah, I was gonna be like, isn't it weird that there's uh, very few people of color in this game, considering it takes place in Africa? But I was then thinking, it could just be because this game got, like, this game is so far in the future that everywhere on Earth is like a melting pot. I don't know. I feel like that should be in the game, though. Because, like, this is a cool-looking city, yeah. But this could be any continent on Earth, really. Hello. I, I hate to throw away the pistol, but... Oh, God, yes, I love this thing. Actually, let me just 
double check my recording. Oh, keep going for a little more. And I am going out of my way to take my time, yes. Just because I want to enjoy this game. And of course, if you want to see more, well, play it yourself. I've decided I'm not going to get the audio uh, transmissions. Um, I decided that off camera to be precise. Cause like, hey, play it yourself. Got a little tackle problem. An overcharged plasma pistol will neutralize their shield. We should also take down a brute's armor. Oh yeah? Where were you a minute ago? So I love this thing. I love walking up and using it like a shotgun as well. This thing is like a brute shotgun, essentially, by the way. And I believe I've mentioned that brutes can actually be seen like using and wielding shotguns in the past games, because they actually legitimately love the idea of a shotgun. Because, like, the Covenant weapons all have the same design mentality of, like, purple super space tech and shit. Oh, yeah, you can zoom this twice. It has a stage zoom. Or wait. Yeah. Technically three times, but whatever. Carbine. Hell yeah. Okay. I love guns like this. Like, just a fucking sturdy, solid, dependable, reliable rifle. Or variation thereof. And, like, this is a gas-powered space alien rifle. But still is just a fucking rifle. And you know what? I like that. I can get behind that to an extreme. Like, Fallout, for instance. Nothing wrong with a hunting rifle. Christ, I literally just forgot what I was talking about. Oh yeah, the, the mauler, this thing. See, so yeah, it's just this extremely violent hit scan scatter gun that is meant to be used almost like a pistol. It's very in character for the brutes. Got some options now. There's appear to be humming. Yep, humans up there, so try to be a little bit careful. So, um, the game prides itself on having less loading screens than the average video game. Are they getting taken down? They sure are. Um, and the reason is because these doors take a while to open. These doors are an example of a fake loading screen. If you ever see something like a, uh, a decompression chamber where, like, you have to go through both sides very slowly. Trooper, we're pinned down. Cut through this building. Hit him from behind. So we actually can go right through the middle, I believe. Okay. Just wanted to crimp a few grenades out there. But as that person said, cut through this building and shoot him from behind. I'm actually going to just take a look right like this. Just see what I can see. Wow. Buck, location. Almost there. What's wrong? Multiple hostiles closing on my position. Listen carefully. If I don't make it. Whoa, hang on. I'll be right there. Too late. They spotted me. Damn it. No. Veronica. Talk to me. Don't move. I'm coming. You hear? Whenever people say if I don't make it, and then someone else is like, wait, shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear that. Like, that's, that's such bullshit. I know that you're, like, trying to do a thing of, like, wait, I don't even want to hear that you're not going to make it, because I know you are. But also, wouldn't it bring them some kind of calm, and then make them calm enough to be, like, to allow them to survive? God, I'm just trying to fucking shoot this guy. Oh, wait, wrong game. 
trying to earn a thing in another game that's like, kill an enemy with your last bullet in a clip. And I was like, it's time. So yeah, I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing, but uh, kind of because I just don't want to give up what I'm currently rocking. But I will. All right. Visor on. Is a building either like this or is this building that is a nightmare? Right, right, I don't understand hurting health. Of course, if I were Chief and I tried that stun, I would have died, but luckily, Spartans are cooler. Wow, that blood is kind of just stuck to the wall like a sticker. That's kind of great. Yeah, even 500 years in the future, still loading shotguns one fucking shell at a time. Like, no one invented a speed loader. No one invented, like, a belt-fed shotgun. No one bothered. They were like, why would we need to make shotguns better? Are you crazy? That's the wrong... Hit F instead of R. You look at your keyboard, assuming you have a standard QWERTY keyboard. You may notice that the uh, keys are right next to each other. And R is, of course, the reload button. This is a little fun trivia involving the uh, Dare and uh, Buck ship, but the breathing sounds that Buck makes are actually the sounds that uh, Nathan Fillion makes from being pegged, if anyone wants to use that for their fan fiction. I would love to see more appropriation with alien cultures. Like, the idea of brutes picking up a shotgun, they're like, Oh, fuck, this thing's great. I love this. Like, I, that's great. That's awesome. Fuck you. Oh, wow. Oh, that's why. Uh-uh. Okay. Okay. I, 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 I gotcha. You know, loud and clear. Let's go with, actually, let's swap this, and let's just outfight a little more. I feel like I, I might have been doing a little too much infighting, you know, some close-up shenanigans. Right now, let's keep our distance and shoot with style. Of course, this means I lose my burst damage, but you know. See, that stamina thing that the game mentioned is a... It's its like a shield, but it's not really a shield. Probably should be moving while I shoot. I think that I look like top cruise. Okay. Come on. If you were ever hit while scope, you automatically unscope, which... Wow. A lot of, lot of, lot of movement there. Got that guy right in the neck. God, I love this gun. Oh. Good night, sweet prince. You served your space country well. I guess it's a planet. I hate George Lucas. I'm so upset that every time George Lucas does anything... Oh, oh, oh. Martyrdom. Anytime George Lucas fucking writes a Star Wars, and anytime anyone after George Lucas writes a Star Wars... It's like, ah, time to go to a planet. Well, here's the one town we'll ever see on this planet. Every fucking time. Mandalorian was the first fucking thing to not have the one town. And I know that Mandalorian wasn't actually the first, but... Now that Mandalorian is... One of the few extended universe things that are still fucking canon... Yes, Mandalorian is in fact... Oh, there they are. Mandalorian is in fact one of the few things to actually have planets work like that. Like, do you know how much fucking story writing Stan Lee and Steve Ditko got done? Putting Spider-Man in New York? 
like stand do that that didn't hit me did it uh, excuse me sirs okay you've made your point very well I'm just going to kind of serpentine away here and maybe grab the close range weapons I uh, that'll do jeez oh Pete back to having my ODSD combo I love these things but yeah like fucking the Spider-Man authors have gotten more use out of the single city of New York than George Lucas has got out of an entire mother goddamn galaxy like what kind of garbage is that okay oh my god I have to itch my eye so bad I haven't washed my hair in a few days because um, I'm bleaching it later today, so I need the oils in it. Because uh, normally, I'm very, very concerned about the upkeep of my hair. Okay. Oh, he's coming up. So you better get this party started. Try to strafe and hit a wall. That was pretty stupid. There we go. There we go. Uh, your brother's fine. Just don't come up here and don't look. You won't see... Why is it gold? That's cool. Assuming it's intentional. Okay. Now we just need to find the other one. Bokushi, bokushi. Well, we found him. Bad place for it, though. Considering we're kind of pinned down. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now we just have to get back. It'd be great if I had a carbine now, but... Oh my god, it's a grunt? That's who's been hassling me all fucking... Congratulations. You've earned my most painful weapon. shotguns are better yep. so check this out right we can still shoot we can still use these because of gameplay reasons ODSCs are still fucking crazy strong enough to pull these things off and walk with them bananas b-a-n-a-n-a-n-a-s there goes some cubbies I honestly do love the space war that Halo engages in. African trust, banging with pride. Serve and protect, New Bomasa Police Department. Yeah, this game was, um... So, this game recently had a controversy. Um... In hype of, uh... This game's uh, released for the Master Chief Collection. Bungie released a bunch of nameplates for it. Like, um, you can see mine here. I assume you can see that. Yes, you can. Um, of various things. Uh, one nameplate was of the, um, uh, was of police lights. And various people who hate Black Lives Matter, uh, love police brutality. And other, like, cart Saturday morning cartoon supervillains, I assume, uh, used it to be like, hey, check it out. Look at this. I'm a white supremacist. Ha ha. You know, that's a bad thing to take out of context. I should have used a dumber voice for that. Anyway. But uh, one of the themes in the uh, periphery of this game is all the police corruption that goes down behind the scenes. Even in this, like, amazing, super beautific city in this beautiful country, in this beautiful continent. Like, people can still just go bad. Let's take a look at this for a sec. They're just shooting their little pea shooters at it. Anyway, it just kind of amused me. I think they actually took the nameplate down just because they didn't want people to be cunts. Find the crash site and open the drop pod. Was I still getting shot in the menu? I don't think I was, but... Nice combat dive. 
Hey, you in there? Just making sure you're alive in there. Come on, give me the give me the prompt. Just there we go. Okay. I'm here. I got you. Oh. She wasn't in there. Oh nuts. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. So no. I believe I've mentioned these things to you guys in the past. So the engineers. They're basically sapient computers. They're silicon-based life forms. Opening window shutter. It said that at the bottom. What the heck was that? You ever seen one before? Hey, Romeo. You got your ears on? Oh. I get it. Permission to speak, smartass. No, I don't know what it was. But it was gonna grease your ass good. Just like it did the captain. Yeah, maybe. <sighs> You're from Mickey, Dutch? Negative. The rookie. You know, not that he has a crap. name. Link with the B net. One of our drones must have seen where they hid. So we're popping smoke in the lady's mission? Did she ever tell you what she wanted? No. Never. It infuriates me that in Doesn't any matter. sort of fiction All you can have super secret to this extreme. DC. Even you. And in the real world, for that matter. Like, hey, we're going on this mission. Why? Can't tell you. What are we getting? I can't tell you that either. You're just going to follow me and get shot. Like, God. It's infuriating. Um, hey, that was a successful episode. A little dead air, but I can cut that out. Oh, this music. God, what a beautiful soundtrack. New nav data. All right. Um, yeah, that's a that's a good second episode. Um, I'll see you guys in the next episode. I've been Alfred. This has been Halo 3 ODST. See you guys next time. Thanks for checking in.